Hey guys, what up? My name's Thomas. Welcome to the video. You made it. As you can tell, my energy is kind of low, but I think uh, today I just wanted to make it short and sweet. Um, I believe that it's something that's really helped me kind of come to where I am. Um, and what I'm learning more and more as I carve out the next like 10 years of my life, there are five pillars that are very important that I think it's important for me to picture and visualize and write down how each one of these pillars will look for me and how I prefer them to look for me and and to embody that and to live um, in alignment with those principles. Um, I think that it's important to, if you want something, you got to have a clear vision of what it would feel like um, and, and start making small incremental steps to making that happen so the five pillars for me um i'm not going to get into much of the pillars uh but it's just like i'm offering some insight hey come here baby Heck, sorry i got a dog walking in the street you guys want to see my dog that's our dog her name okay the five pillars first and foremost family um relationships how to envision your family life and relationships how do you envision that yourself if you were to live in a perfect world you know because anything's possible why well, and, and the ship ain't gonna get to its island without a set vision a detailed map so you're worth it to figure out what what would it look like for you uh two your health and wealth wellness mind body spirit kind of those things all tied together how, how would that look for you how would that feel for you uh, well, what principles and habits would you would you uh, embody if that were what you'd like? Uh, three, business, professional. Uh, how would your business life look? What are your goals? Um, your professional relationships, what do those look like? In a perfect world, like this is your fucking world. How would it look like? Um... And then four, give. If you could give anything, you could give your time, you could give attention to things, if you could give to your community, what could you give? What could you give? I think ultimately life, what you give is so much more important than what you get. Sure, what you get is cool, but what lasts forever is what you give. What you give maybe even like the most you know critical to adding the adding this the spaz the spiz the jizz the, the jazz to life is that that would be adventure what would your life look like if you could have your adventures looking the way that you would like what would it be well, where would you go what would you do who would you do it with Building a, a future that's lasting and that will bring you the most joy and happiness, at least what I've, I've learned is, Daisy, leave that squirrel alone. Feel what it would be like to, to live the life that you kind of wish you had. Now, you have a great life, don't get me wrong. Like, you should be grateful and appreciate what you have every day but it doesn't hurt to you know, visualize a version of yourself and, and go for it. Make steps, progress towards it because I think that's where the real happiness is going to come from. Um, don't, it's okay to be happy with where you are. Be happy with yourself, grateful for all the lessons learned that brought you to this point. Now it gave you the ability to look into the future and to keep making momentum, incremental progress towards Alright man, short video out the window, whoop, peace out man, have a great day. Uh, oh, hey, like, subscribe, do that thing that people do, they like hit buttons and shit, so it alerts you. Okay. Alright, bye.